Tonight, we have a challenge for you. Can you tell fact from fiction? Beyond belief. Fact or fiction. Hosted by Jonathan Frakes. We live in a world where the real and the unreal live side by side, where substance is disguised as illusion and the only explanations are unexplainable. Can you separate truth from fantasy? To do so, you must break through the web of your experience and open your mind to things beyond belief. watch this cat in my arms, it seems harmless and docile. Yet if this were a different situation, say you were walking down the street and suddenly our friend here darted out in front of your path, perhaps you wouldn't feel so comfortable. You might suddenly wonder if something ominous was about to happen. That's exactly what Rob Nouveau is feeling. Away with his wife for a business seminar, he is suddenly filled with foreboding and dread. Not because of a black cat, because of a mysterious stranger. My husband, Rob, always let me take care of the practical stuff. Like signings up for this weekend money management seminar at this hotel. <laughs> Rob was anticipating a dull two days. But soon Rob's imagination and a series of strange events would transform a dull two days into a weekend of terror. You know what I think? What? I think you have a phobia about making out your will. What? Yeah, a lot of guys do. No, that's not it. The great psychological stress that I'm under has to do with the fact that I canceled a tee off time for you at a course that I'm trying to get on for three months. <laughs> but, but that's okay. I know what a big sacrifice this is for you, but believe me, by the time this weekend's over, you are going to be thanking me. I know. Mm. Yeah. Hello. Can I help you? Hi. Um, reservations under Nouveau? This was the moment that it all started for Rob. That's weird. Barb. Hmm? Do they hold funerals in hotels? What? Check out the guy with the casket. I couldn't see anything even close to what Rob had described. You know, remind me Monday, we'll book it your eyes checked. I think he meant left at the hallway, not left at the uh, elevator. All right, check it out. Loser buys dinner. Dinner? A bet? Okay. I know now that we should have searched for the seminar together instead of splitting off in separate directions. Rob felt justified that he had actually seen a casket in the lobby. I knew it. That's a relief. There you are. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I didn't realize someone was in here. Well, it's one of our deluxe models. Did you get a look? A really good look. Actually, uh, I'm in the wrong place. Don't be so sure. Really, I'm, I'm running out of time. Thank you. Well, sometimes it's later than we think. Another time. That's one of the problems. So often we mistakenly think we have all the time in the world. It's very comfy. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm sure it is. You, uh, really should try it. My card. The strange man said that he was a casket salesman. Later, I, uh, I gotta go. And it's time to go. You've got to go. Rob wouldn't share it with me, but after that he was certain that the man was going to cause his death. I hope you could never just pay in the Q&A a little more. I'm sorry. Feeling alright? Yeah, I'm just a little preoccupied. Uh... You want to get a magazine from the lobby? Going down. Later. <sighs> Let's take the stairs, okay? Okay. What is it with you today? said that the accident resulted in four deaths. Rob swore he saw a fifth person on the elevator, a strange man dressed in a dark black suit. Later we asked around. Not one person at the hotel recalled ever seeing Rob's mystery man. What happened here? Who was the man that Rob kept seeing? Was he really a messenger of doom? Or was he just an ominous figment of Rob's overactive imagination? Whatever it was that caused Rob's flightful reaction saved both him and his wife from that fatal elevator ride. Are you ready to say whether this story is true or false? Or has the cat got your tongue? A chance encounter leads to a surprising chain of events when we return on Beyond Belief, Fact or Fiction.